for us. Is, I mean, they just do everything right. You got really good players, uh, coach well, sound, all three phases, get turnovers on defense, don't turn over on offense, convert, play great, great situational football. Uh, special teams, they've done a heck of a job with these guys. These guys have all started a long time, got a lot of experience, and they're very physical, tough football team. They really play well. So, thank you to see how we take it to the field. Questions? With Clawson's team's 3-9 the last two years, sorry. with uh, Dave Clawson's team's 3-9 the last two years, this is like the natural progression you want to program, you'd want to program and take yes, that coach, is. right? Yes, it is. They have. I mean, they've played a, lot of, they played a lot of those guys young, and they've matured. They're stronger, bigger. They're always good players. They were just young. You know what I'm saying? Now, they just get the, the maturity's there along with the execution and discipline. I mean, they're, they're a really good football team. Awesome. And real, Dave's done a real nice job. I was saying, no, is it big for a team like that just to have the confidence that comes with that type of record rolling in here? Oh, no doubt. I mean, like I said, the combined regular team, we play 17 and 2. So these guys are used to winning. They expect to win. I mean, that's what they're doing. When you win, you win, confidence grows. And like I said, the most important thing in ball is confidence. Francois practice, and he's going to be good to go for Saturday? Yeah. Good to play. Is there any news on the injury front? I mean, of course, with Nate, but anything else in there? Right here. Uh, Darvin Taylor and Vickers are out. McGuire, you always say that with his foot, but I mean, he's great. I don't know why we even have that on there. He's ready to play. He had to practice really well the last three days, too. Uh, Nate, Keith Bryant, Campbell, and Derwin Jane. How's it That's it. How is Derwin progressing? Well, I mean, they're trying to keep him, they're telling him slow down, make sure he don't do too much because he's he's healing, feeling good. So we got to, we're, I've, I've kept up with him, but we'll really evaluate it hard next week. We get off him. And you're saying with Vickers, what were he, what's he going to be out with? He'd been banged up. He had, he had a concussion a couple weeks ago and symptoms still have symptoms and things like that. You know, after the Miami game, you were asked, um, I'm trying to think what the exact phrasing was, you were asked if this team grew up with the Miami when you said you, you know, asked me next week. What have you seen in that evolution, that progression? Of, of we're practice? continuing to practice better. We practiced better last week. We practiced really, I, I've been pleased with our practice. A lot more efficient, a lot more enthusiasm, a lot more execution, a lot more. I mean, you just see them starting to grow together. And uh, But we hope we get them taken to the field. But, They've, I, they've come back this week with great enthusiasm and energy in practice. There hasn't been a slack off at all. I mean, they, not because it would be. Because people think because you have a big emotional win, you know what I mean, or a rival, but they, they've handled it really well, practiced really well. Well, I guess uh, Xavier Rose is supposed to be in town this weekend, oh, yeah. and he's been involved with the kids first up in Minnesota. Just what's it mean to have what, him still be playing? <clears throat> what a great guy, man. I mean, and, and I mean, playing his tail off. I mean, big physical corner, one of the, probably one of the top guys in the NFL right now. I mean, and he's a guy that kind of goes on the rate. I mean, he was a great player here for us, and we didn't know because he got up in Minnesota, we don't hear as much about him. But I mean, and he's up there with our foundation. I mean, because right there as we go to the University of Minnesota, he promotes everything he does. I mean, that just tells you of his character. I mean, you know, to reach back and help us and help our family, I, I, I can't say enough about him. And I've always loved Xavier, and I'm so happy for him. I mean, this guy's going to play a long time in the league and, and uh, earned every right of him. Just, and he's a great player here, and he's, he's a better person than he is a player. I mean, I, I, I love Zay. It's going to be great to see him this weekend. Rhodes was one of the first guys that you had that went through a position change. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you've had so much success with those? Uh, I had the kids. Because they, they could do what you ask them to do, and, and they bought in and believed in what it is and had great attitudes. I mean, you can say as a coach, you can move guys all you want and act like they're smart, but those kids have to buy in and go do it and have the ability to do it and, and go play. And, and uh, it, it's all about the kids, every one of them. Is there a different skill set as a coach when you evaluate, say, a guy in high school watching tape versus self-evaluation when he's – there every day is that oh no doubt I mean or? yeah it is I mean you can see it on the table when you watch a guy in person and how he relates his physicality how he thinks how he processes from coaching him I mean I can say it's hard to you coach him I mean I don't care what you say or you've had him in camp and all those things that go around but it is and then once you get him there in person you can see some traits and see you know, a lot of them are doing hey, man, I never knew he could even do that you know what I'm saying? I saw some things but man this is good he does this better he has a chance and you know you, you try to just put him in the best possible position you think for their future and that those kids buy him we've had some tremendous kids doing that is it easier to do that these days when you have the track record it can point out at Xavier Rhodes or Cam Irving or on and on and on? Well, you do, but I mean, each individual guy, as crazy as that sounds, you put that out there, but everybody says, well, you know, well, that's not me. You know what I'm saying? And everybody has to do it. But again, it goes back to the kids wanting to do it and, tr again, trusting in you and, and having great confidence. And then, again, I never move any of them that don't want to move. You know what I'm saying? If they don't want to move, we don't make them move. You can't, you can't do that. Anything else? Good. Thank you all. Thank you.